10 mysterious creatures that look alien. Number 10, Bobbit Worm. There are thought to be as many as a million different species of worm on the planet, and they come in all shapes and sizes. The most frightening and alien-like, though, is the Bobbit Worm, which looks like it's come straight out of a science fiction movie. They can grow up to 10 feet long and live on seabeds across the world where they bury themselves beneath the sediment with only a few inches exposed. Here they wait, sensing their surroundings by five antennae, and when prey passes by, they snap with such ferocity that they can split a fish in two. They're occasionally caught by fishermen which are bound to give them a fright, and because they start out much smaller, there have been incidents where they have grown in home aquariums without the owners realizing, and are only discovered when the tanks are fully cleaned. Number 9. Barrel eye fish. Barrel eye fish, which are also known as spook fish, live in the deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, and have developed some unusual adaptations to survive in this inhospitable environment. There are a few different species, with the largest growing up to 20 inches long, but they all have a striking feature fully transparent heads. At first, researchers were unsure how this was useful. But as they began to further understand the anatomy of the fish, they realized how vital it was to their survival. At the depths at which they live, there's very little light, and they have specially adapted eyes that are very efficient at collecting this light. The difficulty is that to do this, they have a very narrow field of vision. So to overcome this problem, the fish is able to rotate its eyes. They can look straight forward, or when needed, can move to look directly up, as the eyes are completely contained within the head. The transparent covering means they can see at all times. This makes it much easier for them to hunt and eat their prey, and gives them such precise vision that it's thought that they are able to snatch food that's been caught in the tentacles of a jellyfish. Number 8. Scotoplanes Scotoplanes, which are affectionately known as sea pigs, are a type of sea cucumber that lives in the depths of the ocean, but look like they'd be more at home on an alien world. They are typically found at up to three miles beneath the surface in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. What look like limbs are in fact tube feet, and these are connected to the water vascular system through their bodies that allow them to keep a rigid structure. At these depths, there aren't as many predators as their shallower water cousins face, so these sea cucumbers are very different from the ones that are more commonly seen. They have antenna on their heads which are technically feet but are used to search around in the pitch black surroundings where they sift through the mud in search of organic material. It's rare to see one of these on their own, as they live in colonies of potentially hundreds of individuals. And when a large food source falls to the bottom, such as a carcass of a dead whale, thousands can be attracted into feast. Number 7. Crinoids there are currently around 600 different species of crinoids, which are closely related to sea stars, urchins, and cucumbers. But since their first emergence about 200 million years ago, there have been many more. They're found in a range of depths around coral reefs, and when they're adults, they exist in two forms. Some stay attached to the sea floor by a stalk and are called sea lilies, while others are free-floating in the water and are known as feather stars. Their mouths are on the outer surface and are surrounded by feathery feeding arms. These capture food and pass it towards the mouth opening, and are so crucial to their survival that they are able to regenerate them if they become damaged. Some species can grow as many as 150 arms, and if they become damaged they slowly grow back at a rate of around 1 mm per day. This regenerative property means it's impossible to know how long each individual has lived for, and it's quite possible that these are some of the oldest creatures on Earth. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 6. Arctean Moth In June of 2019, images started circulating that had been taken by a man in Bali, Indonesia, who, to his horror, found an alien-looking creature in his home when he returned from work one day. Almost looking as if it's a cross between a cricket and a jellyfish, he had never seen anything like it before and thought it best to leave the creature where it was until it decided to leave by its own accord. After sharing the images though, this strange animal was identified as being a species of Arctean moth called Creatonotos ganges. Usually they don't get anywhere near this size, but are occasionally known to become large when there's an abundance of food available to them. 
The hairy appendages that stick out of their bodies are inflatable and unfurl from their abdomens when they need to release pheromones to attract mates. The cocktail of chemicals that sprayed into the air can be detected by moths several miles away and not only attract females but also warns other males to keep their distance. Number 5. Buoy Barnacle When you think of a barnacle, you probably imagine those that cling onto the hulls of ships or the rocks on the beach. But not all of them rely on sticking to other objects. Buoy barnacles are found across the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and are quite different from other species. They're smaller and can be yellow or purple in color, but the main difference is that after holding onto floating debris when they're young, they begin to grow their own float. This is done by secreting a spongy substance from specialized glands that forms a material that's similar to polystyrene. It keeps them on the surface of the water and continues to grow throughout their lives. They've also been known to incorporate other objects into their floats, like feathers, balls of tar, and even snake tails, as well as combining with others to form a larger ball of barnacles. They spend their lives going wherever the ocean currents take them and are thought to be thriving as a result of the ever-increasing amount of trash in the seas. Number 4. Sea Sapphire There's possibly no creature in the Earth's oceans more alien-like than the sea sapphires, animals that glisten and glow in the water one moment and have the ability to completely vanish the next. They're a type of crustacean that live all across the globe in depths of up to 1,000 feet, and the colorful displays are possible because of crystal reflectors that cover their bodies. These allow them to emit hues of virtually any color, with yellow, orange, and red more common in shallow waters, and greens, blues, and purples more prevalent in deeper waters, where those wavelengths are more effective. The colors, along with their specific patterns of swimming, are designed to attract mates, but what's most surprising is when they turn invisible. This is clearly beneficial by allowing them to hide from predators, but they aren't actually turning truly transparent. Instead, they appear to disappear when they emit colors in the UV spectrum, that are beyond what our eyes are capable to register, which makes you wonder how many other animals are out there that we're simply unable to perceive. Number 3. Pelican Spider This terrifying creature looks more like it should be in an alien horror movie, but instead, it's something that actually exists on our planet. Called a pelican spider, this isn't your typical spider, and its unusual appearance gives it a distinct advantage. There are at least 26 different known species of pelican spiders across Madagascar and Africa, and when they fold their pincers, they look more bird-like. They're an aggressive species that hunt other spiders and use their pincers to disturb webs to trick their victims into thinking they've caught something of their own. When a spider approaches, pelican spiders catch them on the end of their long pincers, inject them with venom, and wait for them to die before pulling the body in towards their mouth. By keeping their prey at a distance, they reduce the risk of being bitten and envenomed themselves, which makes them a very effective spider hunter. Fortunately, pelican spiders are all very small at less than half an inch long, because if they were any bigger, they'd undoubtedly be one of the most feared spiders of all. Number 2. Helmeted Cockroach With a large head and halo-like helmet, the Helmblata Louis Rothi looks like an alien creature, but is actually a species of cockroach from Vietnam. It was only first discovered in 2017 when researchers were exploring Tanpu Cave, which is part of a large lava tube cave system beneath a forest in the south of the country. They are only 3 millimeters long and have curled wings that mean they can't fly, and has a specialized gland that releases pheromones to attract females before pinning them down with their helmet and a hook nipper. Unusually, this species feeds almost entirely on bacteria and fungi, and it's thought they ride on the backs of bats as a way to move around the cave system. Number 1. King Vulture If you imagine the jungles of an alien planet, you wouldn't be surprised to see a king vulture flying between the trees, but rather than living thousands of light years away, these strange birds are native to South America. They can grow up to 32 inches tall, with a wingspan as much as 6.6 .6 feet. And while their bodies are similar to related species of vulture, their colorations and facial features are unlike any other. They're scavengers, so mainly feed on carcasses that haven't begun to decay, 
sit high in the trees watching for the movements of other hunters for their opportune moment to strike. Their lack of vocal organs means they make very few sounds apart from occasional croaks and whistles. But their size means that most other vultures will move clear of any food when one approaches. The name King Vulture is thought to be traced back to the time of the Maya, who saw how other bird species treated them like royalty and believed that they were able to transport messages between people and the gods. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.